Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to teach you how to paint this really easy watercolor painting. So, I've always struggled with making things glow in watercolors, but this amazing trick by Rebel Unicorn Craft on YouTube is really amazing and it changed the whole thing. So, we're going to start off by putting down a flat layer of yellow paint on watercolor paper. So, I'm just using my spray bottle to activate my watercolors and wet the paper. Now, the paint doesn't need to be too saturated or too watery. It's just a flat wash of color. So, you're going to make sure that you cover every inch of your watercolor paper in yellow paint. If you feel your watercolor paper is still cold or damp, then you should still wait for it to dry. After this, you're going to make leaf-like shapes which will be the flames of the candles you're going to draw. So just draw some shapes in different sizes and this is how it will look like. Then you're going to mix some orange tones and yellows together and paint everywhere except inside the shapes you just drew. You need to basically paint the negative space which is the area outside the shapes. Painting around the flames will help the yellow glow and appear way more bright and saturated. Once that layer is dry, you need to draw a few more flames and draw the candlesticks. Drawing the candlesticks is really simple. All you have to do is draw a line coming down from this flame and then a rectangle following it. If you want, you can add a few more flames here and there. Next, you're going to again mix browns and reds and then paint around the flames and candlesticks once again. This is the only trick that you need to follow for this painting. It's a negative space painting which works in layers to make the colors appear really saturated. Watercolors require working in layers, so it's certainly a, something that requires a lot of patience. And since I'm not a very patient person, I did use my hair dryer to speed up the process here and there. And I'm not gonna lie, it worked wonders and saved me so much time. By the way guys, I just wanted to remind you that we've hit 320 subscribers and I'm so so grateful for every single one of you. I hope we get to grow bigger and better every day. So I'd like to remind you to share and like the video and subscribe to the channel in case you haven't already. With every layer you add, you can see a change in the depth and the lighting of the painting. So you can see some shadows forming and maybe a little more 3D effect being added to the painting. This painting is really just a relaxing exercise and it doesn't really have to go in a particular way. You can do whatever you want to do with this painting. So you can add as many flames you want, as many candles you want. You can even change the color tones that you're following for the painting. So instead of using oranges and reds, you might want to experiment with purples and blues maybe. So it's really just the trick of painting in negative space that's key to the painting. If you feel that maybe the painting is a bit too red, you can adjust the tones by adding a bit more blue or a bit more cooler brown or purple to kind of adjust the tones. I hope you are able to understand the process and how the painting is going to turn out in the end. To finish off, I'm going to remove the tape, which is a really satisfying process. But to do this, you need to make sure the paint is dry because the last tape came off wrong since the paint was still wet. But <laughs> I didn't record that. Now 
anyways guys that marks the end of this video and this tutorial so i hope it was helpful and maybe made you feel inspired to create something or at least get into painting it's really not that difficult and I know some people get intimidated by all the techniques required but this is a really good beginner exercise for watercolors if you're really interested in trying them out. So yeah, that being said, I'll see you next time on Sunday with another new video. So please take care until then. Bye bye.